Hey defenders, welcome back to our channel. Let me ask you a quick question. Are you a smartphone user? If yes, let me tell you, hold up. There is a news that may shake you up. Yes, there is a competition that happens globally every year called DEFCON that you may all be aware about, right? There is another competition called Pawn to Own, PWN to OWN, Pawn to Own. Pawn to Own is a security conference that happens annually every year where participants from across the globe participate. And the interesting thing is security engineers and security analysts who constantly work on identifying bugs are the participants for this. An interesting thing about Pawn to Own is they take a list of phones, smartphones that are popularly used by popular continents, right? Say there are uh, uh, Samsung S23 Ultra, which is widely used phone. Xiaomi 13 Pro, which is a widely used phone, right? So these are all different devices that are listed as a scope of the competition. So what security researchers can do, they can actually try their hands on try to break it and see if they can own the device by merely doing some small attacks, right? And uh, the rewards for these kind of findings are pretty huge. Either $25,000, $50,000, $200,000 or so on, right? Okay, if you are a Xiaomi fanboy or a MI fanboy, let me tell you, uh, there is a security researcher called Luca Stefanko. Right? He is a malware analyst from ESET, antivirus organization. He was one of the participants at uh, pawn to own And the interesting thing here is, he found a remote code execution on Xiaomi 13 Pro. Yes. Let me tell you how this works. Right? Say you are an end user who is using Xiaomi 13 Pro. Right? What I do, I as an attacker, here maybe I as Lukas uh, Stefanko, as a security researcher, craft a particular link. There is something that I run on my system and create a link with this so software that I'm running. And I share this link to you on WhatsApp or Telegram or something of that sort, right? So what you do, you click on that link, right? Once you click on that link, right? You have Xiaomi 13 Pro in this example. You actually click on that link and this link opens on a Google Chrome browser on your Xiaomi 13 Pro. And what actually happens is there is a remote code execution that actually triggers, right? And there is a payload that is pushed from this uh, system that you're browsing. And what happens? It exploits a particular vulnerability on your uh, Xiaomi 13 Pro and gives a reverse command shell of your phone to my computer, right? That's exactly what Stefanko demonstrated and it was amazing to see that even in 2024 October, right? We are in October and we are still having such flaws, which leads to something very important. Uh, buffer overflow, heap overflow and stack overflow are attacks that are going to be there for a very long time, right? As security researchers, you may want to consider exploring more into the avenues of stack overflow, heap overflow and you know, these kind of an attack, especially me memory corruption related attacks, so that there are high chances you could win such bug bounties, right? So in case you found this information useful or informative, consider sharing and subscribing. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity.